the Automatic Elevation Dimension tool generates dimensions that locate walls and other objects in cross-section and elevation views. We can generate these dimensions while in a cross-section or an elevation view by going to CAD, Automatic Dimensions, Auto Elevation Dimensions, or by clicking the Automatic Dimension tool on the toolbar and then the Auto Elevation Dimensions in the tool palette. In a wall elevation, this tool is especially useful since it is able to place many dimensions at once. For example, in this wall elevation, when we click the Auto Elevation Dimension tool, dimensions generate locating the edges of walls, doors, fixtures, and cabinets. We can do some minor adjustments by selecting a dimension line and using the extension handles to locate different objects, but our work is almost complete with one click. We can customize what these dimensions locate by adjusting our currently selected dimension defaults. If we look at our toolbar, we can see that we're currently using the kitchen and bath default set. If we click the Edit Active View button to the left of that, and go to the selected defaults panel, we can also see the kitchen and bath default set, and we can see that we're using the kitchen and bath dimension defaults. We'll edit this default by clicking on the pencil icon here, and we can now review the settings for any dimension created while we're using the kitchen and bath defaults. There are two panels that control the auto elevation dimensions, the setup automatic panel and the locate auto elevation panel. On the Setup Automatic panel, towards the bottom, we can see the section for Elevation. We can choose if we want a dimension that spans the overall distance of the view, if we want an outer dimension in addition to the overall, and inner dimension strings, if we want the dimension to auto-refresh as we work on the project, and whether we want dimensions to generate on all sides of an elevation, or just certain ones. On the Locate Auto Elevation panel, we can choose how we want to locate walls and once again if we want an outer dimension in addition to our inner dimension and what items each layer of dimensions will locate. Keep in mind when selecting items from these lists that we have to select the category heading to make the sub-items available and then we need to select the sub-items we want to locate. If we only activate the category and not choose a sub-item, dimensions will not locate anything in the category. In the out-of-the-box templates, wall elevation cameras will automatically open with the kitchen and bath default set selected. If we want to have wall elevations open with a different default set active, we can look at the wall elevation camera defaults. We'll go to Edit, Default Settings, or just click the Default Settings tool on our toolbar. Then we'll expand the list for camera tools and find wall elevation. Then click Edit to open the wall elevation defaults, and we can review the defaults for wall elevations on the selected defaults panel. Any changes made in default settings will only affect any new wall elevations created. The kitchen and bath dimension defaults have been set up to follow NKBA guidelines, so if you are a National Kitchen and Bath Association member, you probably won't need to make any modifications in the kitchen and bath dimension defaults. However, if you've migrated a plan or template forward from an earlier version of Chief Architect, the auto elevation dimensions may behave differently, especially if you are accustomed to using the NKBA auto dimensions. The NKBA Auto Elevation Dimensions tool available in prior versions of Chief Architect was merged with the Auto Elevation Dimensions tool we have now. Since the NKBA Auto Elevation Dimensions tool was not tied to a specific dimension default, if you migrate forward a plan or template created in a prior version, a new dimension default called Legacy NKBA Dimension Defaults will be created. If you use the NKBA Auto Elevation Dimensions for your kitchen and bath elevations in a prior version, and you're migrating a plan or template forward, we recommend switching to this new dimension default for these views.